Hello, and welcome back to what's bubbling is in. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at binding. Doesn't that sound exciting? We've also got on the Zim site, zimjs.com, a Prizaria Compet. So this Zim Zap right here, you can enter your Zim Zaps, that's what we call small apps, and uh, possibly win $202. That's a month. We're doing it for 10 months. Uh, so come on in and check it out. Zimjs.com and press the, the Zap. So binding. What is that? Now let's go to this form here. Oh my goodness, we can see how high we can count. <laughs> nothing like nothing like a Zim form, huh? We can put our name in there, Dr. Abstract. And this data, when we submit it, is bound and, and ends up going to the database. So we've got a whole data module that we use to build this tower talk, for instance, where we have we can go into various rooms and we can see what people have been saying in the room and choose the rooms this way and that way. Isn't that neat? So um, <laughs> this is Tower Talk and we built this in Zim. Oh, by the way, there's more Tower. And that data is all bound through this stuff called JSON to the database. So let's uh, show you where you can see those examples. Now we've done a lot of videos on those already. If we go into the Learn section, and scroll on down right here the creative coding lessons and then choose this lesson number nine on data so creative coding lessons lesson number nine here it is data and information this is binding to local storage uh, here's binding to HTML forms and we carry on and on and on so have a look in though there they're, they're all YouTube videos um, by the way it's one video and then this jumps you into the places in the video Okay, so uh, look at that. Let's drop in and take a look at some of the binding code. Uh, oh, maybe before we go, this all connects as well. I forgot, I haven't connected it up quite yet to the Zim site uh, back here. So, Mara, oh, uh, this one right here called Zim School. So, if you go into Zim School, do we have this live yet? I'm not sure if we do. Let's see. No last lesson nine. Now, so if we go into eight, I'll show you what it looks like. We'll bring this down. It looks like lesson nine, like that. And we'll, uh, we'll get that launched in there. So, here's lesson nine on data. And we talk about the things that can be made with data. We go uh, into an overview, a bunch of references of, of the different parts of data, uh, organization. So all this is organized like that. And this one happens to be on organization, how data could be imagined as nested boxes. And then we can erase the top and bottom lines and get uh, nested arrays like that. Shows you how you can map hierarchy to that. Uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of really cool information going from that into object literals and into the database table. So uh, it's unlikely that you've seen um, information <laughs> as detailed as this. Well, possibly if you've looked at a textbook. That's what I felt like I was doing when I was building this as a, as a textbook. And that goes into all of the binding and how to set this stuff up. Okay, cool. So that's there. What else did we want to see? Mm, right, some code. Yeah, let's take a look at what the binding looks like in uh, Zim 10.9. So we're here in Zim 10.9 now. And we scroll on down. Boop, boop, boop. We've made a circle and we've made a rectangle. What is this thing doing? We'll open up in a browser. A circle and a rectangle. And these things get remembered. So if I refresh here, it's a circle and a rectangle. Uh, in this case, it's it's via local storage, so it would only be remembered on the computer here. But we also have an example of this going to the database. And that's all in a zip file that's available in the videos or in the lessons. So you can grab the, the zip and uh, take a look at the files and the PHP files to, to do that. All right, so this is local storage remembering. We refresh here because these shapes are bound. Now let's see what we mean by that. So there's the shapes. And uh, by the way, in this is the intro. There's also an intro with comments. So the intro with comments go and talk about data, about information, about how we store, how to pick places to store, the techniques we use, how we choose which data we're storing. And then it talks about properties. So the fact that color is the property name and red is the 
property value. So red is data, color is metadata, and the two of them together make information, etc. So that's all described up in here. And then it talks about what we're doing in the binding. So the commented version has all those comments. This is the uncommented version. So then we bind, we make a binding. We've got these shapes made. We make a binding and we bind the circle to this ID circ and rect to that ID rect. And we say which properties we want to have that binding remember. Now this binding by default will go off to local storage, but you can also bind to a, uh, a server script there, which the other examples have. Then when you press the circles, you we're calling the function called send here because we're doing the same thing regardless of which one we mouse up on. We're sending information to the bind, bind.2. There you go. That's it. Set up a bind, say what properties we want to bind, and say bind.2. When we are dealing with data, we've also got a bind.from, which will get information from the database. We've got a bind.2, we've got a bind.2 lock, which locks the information in the database as we're up updating it. Uh, we tend to use JSON back and forth, and there's reports that are available with this. It is just like uh, marvelous and wonderful. Tricky sometimes, tricky, no doubt, but still marvelous and wonderful. And that is what is bubbling at Zim. So come on back. We'll take you through some of the general updates of 10.9.0. And in the last bubbling before this one, we talked about Flare, which was uh, fun and flary. So check that out as well. Come join us at zimjs.com slash slack. If, uh, if you're digging this stuff and share these things with others as well. Ciao.